This is Angelina. She thrifts a lot and upcycles a lot. She has a lot planned for 2020. Where is it? This is her story. Close speak to me. Like, I'm in the thrift store and it's saying to me, like, buy me. You know what I want to be. And I say, yes, I'll buy you. <laughs> We're going to start with some of my favorite things to upcycle. This has i don't know if you can see that but it has like a tuxedo front on it it's so nice i love it and i actually don't i have no idea what i'm gonna do with these but i just saw that tuxedo front and then this other one to match it to be more material and i just thought like oh my gosh that's gonna make an amazing upcycle Okay, so then I really want to get into some patterns. I've been wanting to go back and redo some of them or even do some new ones in some pattern sh shirts. And I have these Hawaiian looking ones. This one is more like a, a black and white with pops of color in it. And this one I really want to do for my, um, my fashion collection. And then this one is so vibrant with the green and the red and the palm trees, so fun. This is a light blue linen uh, pantsuit. And it is, I believe, a man's pantsuit, but it was a matching pantsuit in perfect condition I got from the thrift outlet. And I knew right away that I wanted to do something with it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make a one piece or what I'm going to do to it. And then I have this, pale blue or no powder blue periwinkle <laughs> i don't know this is a hundred percent silk blazer from ann taylor and yeah and then i also have a series of red items so this skirt i've had for a while it's a pleated skirt and it has like little Davies flowers all over it and I just thought that it would be really good to upcycle as well as this and so I'm thinking of mixing red prints all together um, I think that would be very in for this spring and then I have a few more prints as well with a ton of fabric that I can the options are limitless really with this sometimes when I don't wear stuff as much as I think I should I put it into the possible upcycle pile because I just don't want to get rid of it yet. I have this gorgeous color of green uh, sweater. And honestly, when the winter comes, I may just wear it, but I thought that it could possibly be another two-tone sweater like I did last year, um, or just pretty much anything. I could cut it in half and connect it to something. Um, yeah, but possibilities are endless. And I also have this sweater. I bought it to wear just as is because I really, really like the really large plaid and really large plaid is in this year, but I don't like the way it fits. So it needs to be altered in some way in order for me to wear it. I'm not quite sure. It could possibly go along with something like this where I love the sleeves on this. Love, 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 love the sleeves on this. And that's why I bought it. But I hate the way how bossy it is. It's like almost made like a men's shirt. It has no shape at all so maybe the body of this with the sleeves of this who knows you know and i love simple t-shirt um upcycles i have a ton on this channel and i like to keep t-shirts on rotation because when i get ready to do a t-shirt i don't want to have to go looking for one and all of these a lot of times you know i could put graphics on the front or i could um draw string up the front like i've done before i could just do an asymmetrical cut there's so many different things you could do to these i do have a absolute weakness for blazers and as you can see i have all these blazers and some of them i purchased just because like you know like this one it's a gorgeous color and it does have some issues it has some stains on it and so i knew that it would just probably have or it definitely needed to be upcycled in some kind of way but i also like the buttons on this and i took the buttons off and used it on this top and um love 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 that top and that top can actually go underneath this and pair very well then i also have this tan one again killer buttons but it does have a paint or something stain on the side. Maybe just the sleeves interchange with another one. Like say for instance, I take the sleeves on this one right here, which I love this Jones New York no collar um, blazer. So I could definitely take just the bottom of the sleeve off of this one and then put it on this one. So I hope you are picking up what I am putting down. So someone sent me this inspiration and I went to the 
thrift store and I found a couple of jackets that I think would be killer with that tool um, interwoven in it. And so they're both military blazers. This one is a ROTC Air Force blazer and this one is like some other um, like nationality, like I wanna say military uh, blazer, but they are both killer. Lastly, I have this blazer. The only thing is, is with a lot of old vintage blazers, it has a ton of moth holes in it. And yeah, I could just rock it like Kanye West and not care about the holes, but you know, it's a blazer and I do care about the holes. So I completely take the hole back off and do it like my coat that I did last year um, and then replace the back with a completely like contrasting fabric. Again, I could, no, that'll match. Um, I could do it with another blazer or a whole, a whole nother material, like a t-shirt or a trench coat, a trench coat back with the tie, tied. And then next up, I have a couple of trench coats. I have a gray one and I have a tan one and they both have a really cool kind of different vibe. This one has cuffs on the arms or ties on the arms. And then this little detail that buttons it up on the collar, right under the collar. This one has this big butterfly collar. It's very Western. It feels very Western. So I got these just because I know that if I didn't get them, I'll never see them again. I have known for a while that I wanted to do a project and I'll put the picture here. So I found this coat just like the one in the picture with the hood and then I found this long um, denim jacket. So it'll be the front of one, the back of the other and you can have, it's a twofer, you know, you can then do the front of the other one and the back of the other one. You guys see where I'm going. I bought this dress because I have been wanting a satin pleated skirt for the longest and they are so hard to find in my length, you know, because my legs are so long. So I got this dress and I am going to turn it into a skirt and probably wear it with just like a white um, sweater or something like that. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. So I have this pair of plaid pants and they're wool plaid pants and I just could not pass them up because I love love the pattern. I'm gonna show you like where my mind goes, what I might do. I thrifted this one piece set and I don't know like if this is some like race car, like they were in the, you know, staging area for the race car or whatever. I don't know whether it's just a workman's one piece. I have no idea, but I imagine like this. And since these have like that hint of blue in it, taking this and unattaching the uh, bottom from the top, and then putting the plaid pants as the bottoms to this one piece. And then once again, we have another black and white patterned thing. And these are pants. These are just a pair of Palazzo pants. And um, I bought them purely for the fabric. This particular fabric is a little bit stretchy. So I envision making a dress similar to this one I saw um, that is part of, I think, called Morley Simmons line. Um, so I saw that dress and then I saw these and I'm like, perfect. Okay, so next up we have this pleated skirt. And I just thought that the color combination on this was so good i mean yeah it's just so good can you imagine having a blazer with a pleated back like having this come off the back mm, have mm, come off the back of the blazer so good okay and last but certainly not least is my collection of adidas track pants and other uh, brand track pants, mostly Adidas. These are my favorite pair. These are a black pair with a chocolate brown stripe. They are snap up and every last one of the buttons have the Adidas logo. They are super cool and super big. So I came across this blazer and this blazer is amazing. It's brown, the exact same color brown running through it. So I need to combine these in some way, shape or form. And what I was thinking of doing is taking the snap up stripes and lining it down the sleeves so that the sleeves open up and almost give a cape effect. 
Can you imagine it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> it's gonna be a great year. Which one are you the most excited for? Let me know down in the comments below because comments should be back very soon. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? I wanna show you how to create the wardrobe of your dreams, one that fits your size and your personality. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.